What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we are going to get the trophy Bad Sushi and Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. So to get this trophy, you need to know how to swim, which you can learn from money bags in the first uh, main hub world, Summer Forest, for I think it's 500 gems. But anyways, to get this trophy, we're going to jump into this water, swim through this tunnel, and we're going to find this dude where we're going to get an orb, that's essentially how this will go. We, we need to do these three uh, trials or tests for this guy. We actually only need to do the second one to get this trophy, but I'm going to do all three of them. This first puzzle he wants you to solve, uh, you just, just jump on all these square pieces, or all the corner pieces right here. Jump on the corner pieces, he wants you to light up all the squares. So jumping on, the, on all the corner pieces will do that. So that is the first puzzle that's done. We're now going to go to the second puzzle, which is where we are going to get our trophy. So we're going to go to the very beginning of the level which is where we kind of just were, and here the guy is. So we need to breathe fish into this uh, statue's mouth. You don't want to breathe any red fish into his mouth. Um, so as you see, I just skipped a red fish. Fire breathe when a yellow fish or a blue fish comes up. Then they'll fly into the uh, angry tiki head's mouth or whatever this thing is called. If you do actually happen to uh, get a red fish in his mouth, you will actually start back from zero. And to get this trophy, you actually need to restart the level. So I actually did that my first time through. I accidentally fed him a redfish. Um, so I just, I had to restart the level to actually get the trophy. So we're almost done here. Uh, this is the, I missed that one. Here's the ninth one. And then the 10th one will finish it. Uh, miss the red one. Miss me with that redfish. And there's the 10th one. And now the trophy is going to pop. Now there's a third puzzle here. I will go ahead and uh, show you how to do the third puzzle, which it's actually kind of interesting how I did it because uh, I thought I messed up. Turns out I didn't, and I got to the uh, third, I completed the third puzzle by actually completely guessing. It was uh, kind of strange for me how it worked out, but anyways, we're gonna go to pretty much the end of the level for this third puzzle, and completing the third puzzle, of course, gets you an orb. So to actually get to the end of the level, you need to uh, kill the tiki guys that are chasing the uh, friendly guys. So, as you could, if that made any sense at all, as you could probably tell I was doing. So I think there's, there's a hallway up here. Yeah, this hallway will lead into the last room. So as you see, I just killed that tiki guy who was chasing this good, good guy. I don't know what they're called. They almost look like norks from the first game, but I don't think they're norks. Anyways, uh, they're Hawaiians or something. Anyways, so here's the uh, third puzzle right here and we're going to talk to the guy to activate it he's going to lower the centerpiece for us so all these pieces will go up he's going to lower the centerpiece for us because he's like this is this is how it's done so essentially how you do it is you see there's a star in the middle of that centerpiece i jumped on the star piece and then at this point i actually thought i messed up i'm looking around like what the heck did i do how do you do this um so I think I end up just start guessing here. I jump on this piece. And I jump and I think I'm actually messed up there so I try to restart. And the, the and then I just jump on this piece. Jump on that piece. Jump on that piece. And it turns out I got it. I was trying to mess up and restart but I, I got it. Uh, anyways, so jump in those pieces in that order and you will get your orb and uh, as you saw earlier, that is how you got, that is how you get the bad sushi trophy.